Hey everyone, here we go. It's Friday. Thank God it's the weekend and we might actually get some nice weather. Just wanted to do a quick video to catch up as I haven't done one for a while and I've been doing a lot of studying um, for my exam for Google Mobile Sites and I finally got my certificate. Yay! Um, so I just really want to start implementing what I've learned with small businesses and their websites and making sure that it really is performing to the best of its ability to make sure you're getting those conversions through whether that's phone calls contact forms or um, sales on your shop as well so just want to do a quick video and just show you just an example of what I'd be looking at if I was to do a performance review and this is just very one small aspect of what I'd look at but it's a really great little test to see kind of where your website currently stands and I'll give you some links to follow up with and you can test your own site as well so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to flip the camera around so you can see my screen here and then I'll just do a quick walk through, so bear with me. There we go. Right, so I've been trying to implement a lot of these things um, advised by Google on my own website. It is a WordPress website, it's very image heavy, I've got some videos on there and it's a bit old. It to, it, to be fair, it could be rebuilt, but whatever. Um, it's always the case when it's your own stuff. So I'm just showing you here some results of my website being loaded on a simulated 3G connection. Not the lovely 64 meg virgin whatnot you get at home, but what you may experience when you, when you visit my website on your mobile phone out in the wild. So there's 37 requests for images, scripts and code and things like that. It's 1.4 megabytes, uh, not too bad. The average they would say is about two megabytes. If you think of it, that is like two pound. So I've cost you one pound 40 to download my website and it took about 18 seconds. So yeah, always could be better, um, but it's not too shabby. It's not too bad and you can still use the site while it's loading, it's still functional. So just to compare and contrast, I've just picked a random website here. I've got Fox Hunters Flame and Grill Pubs, which is a chain, and I've just loaded their site on a, on my normal Virgin connection. There was 157 requests for files, and it was 3.4 meg to download, and that was on my super duper connection here at home. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select 3G again. I'm going to reload this site and just see how long it actually takes to download this site. Now imagine you were trying to load this on your phone. You want to find out what the meals are, what time they're open. You might want to book a table. You might want to give them a call um, or just see their latest offers. And this is how long it's going to take on your phone out in the wild. So maybe you're driving nearby. So that wasn't too bad either, but still quite hefty, 22 seconds and 3.5 megabytes download as well. So just gives you an idea of how long people may wait to download your site. And Google, I'll just spin you back here. There we go. So yeah, Google has is really putting pressure on website developers, um, really expecting things to load quickly. They are going to be looking at this when they come to rank your website. Um, although they're not going to tell you that, uh, they are uh, sort of looking at that when they're looking at rankings and things. And also if it has a responsive sort of mobile version of the website. So if you're still rocking with one of these old school desktop sites optimised for 1024 and IE, um, you're really going to not be showing up in the listings compared to your competitors. I mean, 40% of consumers will leave a page that takes about longer than three seconds when they've looked into it. Um, there's loads of data out there to, to show like sort of Amazon's findings of when they've optimized and not optimized and checked out their analytics and things like that, how much it really impacted their sales and you're talking maybe hundreds for you or thousands of pounds lost just because people just won't wait. So I'm gonna pop the links below in the comments Pop your website address in those links from Google and it'll give you a little report back and it'll give you an idea of kind of where you're at. Um, so other than that, I hope you enjoy your Friday and your weekend.